Hi, today I'm going to make a video that's a little bit different, maybe a little bit boring, but the outcome is what I want to show you. I'm going to do some specific diaphragmatic breathing exercises. Uh, the purpose for doing that is to show you that the profound changes that can be made in a fairly short amount of time from doing diaphragmatic breathing exercises. Now of all the functions controlled by our automatic or autonomic nervous system, Breathing is the one bodily function we can control quite easily. And therefore, the same, this nervous system is the same nervous system that also regulates the stress response and it has two arms, the sympathetic and parasympathetic arms. The sympathetic nervous system is the nervous system that we might know when we go into fight or flight functioning and the parasympathetic is the nervous system that is also known as rest and digest or it's the nervous system responsible for the, what we call the relaxation response. Now in breathing, the sympathetic controls the inhalation and the parasympathetic controls the exhalation. Ideally with breathing, the exhalation, this is when I say ideally, I mean when we're breathing to what we would call diagnostic norms for optimal or ideal function. The exhale should be slightly longer than the inhale, about 50% longer, therefore, we should be theoretically parasympathetic dominant, meaning that we should therefore be more relaxed than we are in fight or flight. However, in the world we live in, this is not the case. Most people over breathe, so they breathe too rapidly and with too much volume. And most people use their chest instead of using their diaphragm to breathe. And as a result of using our chest, which is our secondary muscles of inhalation, we can't control our exhalation and therefore our exhalation becomes a bit short, kind of like this. That's exaggerated. So exhalation becomes shorter than inhale and that then sends us into sympathetic dominance. We're permanently in low level fight or flight functioning. Now you can re reverse that fairly quickly. And some of the changes that occur is not only do you relax, you get more blood flow to your head or your brain, your neurotransmitters like serotonin and melatonin increase quite dramatically. It's great for digestion. Um, it, it makes you feel terrific. So what I'm going to do is show you some breathing rhythms and show you that it doesn't take long. With a bit of practice, it doesn't take long to be able to make this change. As I, You won't see me breathe. You won't hear me breathe. But what I will do is I'll raise my hand as I inhale. I'll pause and then I'll lower my hand as I exhale. The pause will be fairly extended. That's not me holding my breath or me fighting to hold off exhale I just at, I've practiced enough that I don't really feel that I need to exhale very much so enough talk for now time to breathe
Okay. What happens is over time, I start to feel the, the blood rushing to my head and it becomes really, really soothing and you feel the need to swallow and you feel you just start to relax more and more and more and more. What's going on in my body from what I understand is, yes, my blood's flowing more to my head and my brain, neurotransmitters are going up so I feel better internally, serotonin and melatonin. My voice gets softer, no, I'm not putting this on. Um, everything just relax, my shoulders relax. It just feels wonderful. So the reason for showing you this is that in the busy working day, it's very, very difficult to go from, I'm in my working day, in my head, thinking, 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 doing my work, always in sort of low level fight or flight. And it's very difficult to sit down and learn how to say do meditation or to practice mindfulness when you're in that state of, I'm in my head, now I want to just be completely mindful and aware and you know, out of my head. It's, it's very, very different to do that. But what we know from research on mindfulness is that you're more likely to be in the mindful state or you're less likely to be in your head when you're parasympathetic dominant or really relaxed. So if you can do diaphragmatic breathing exercises for five to 10 minutes in the lead into a mindfulness session or a meditation, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to drop into a deep state of relaxation and then you can be more observant, more mindful. And you know, it's also, if you're not gonna do it for a meditation, if you're feeling really on edge or stressed, then three to five minutes of diaphragmatic breathing can make a big, big change in your system. It does take time to learn how to do um, I offer courses, I can teach one-on-one, -on -one, soon to be some online courses, whereby I can teach you how to diaphragm breathe. But it's a wonderful tool to be able to use. It works beautifully, it only takes a few minutes, so you can do it a couple of times a day as a, just a, as a rest from the busyness of the day and a rest from being stuck in our heads. Definitely worth it from a state of mind, a state of sanity perspective, but also internally, physiologically, it's a fantastic rest for your body. Thank you.